dear Aunt Lucy, I hope all is well in the home for retired bears. Life in London has been better than ever this summer. I've really got to grips with how things work. And it seems there's something new to do every day. Guess what, Paddington? Mm -hmm. The steam fair's coming to town. Mm. I'm going along tonight to write about it in my newspaper. Mm. Who's going to want to read about that? Everyone. We <laughs> travel the world in an old steam train. I thought you'd love it. I do. Don't tell anyone, OK? Not cool. Why don't we all go? Good idea. Father's a dab hand at the coconut shy. Mm. All's I brown, they used to call him. Well, not anymore. Coconuts are a young man's game. Well, I think you're in great shape for a man your age, Mr Brown. Ah, thank you, Paddington. Hang on, how old do you think I am? Oh, uh, about 80. 80? At least. Just a minute, young bear. Hmm? I thought I told you to wash behind your ears. Oh, but I did, Mrs Bird. I... I wonder how that got in there. Mr Gruber! Ah, oh, Mr. Brown, come in. I just had a visit from Madame Kosliver, who runs the fair. Oh, yes. They were having a clear out and found all these old crates stuffed full with memory bilia they thought had been lost forever. Oh. She asked me if I would sell it for them while they're in town, and it struck me there might be something in here for your auntie's birthday. Oh, good idea. <gasps> ah, look at this. It's very nice, Mr. Gruber, but... I know, I know. It has to be perfect. Oh, since Uncle Pastuzo died, I'm the only relative she's got left. And it isn't every day a bear turns a hundred. <laughs> Quite so. Ah! How about these rolling shoes? Please, Mr. Gruber, be serious. Back in a few minutes, Paddington. Ciao, ciao. Ciao, ciao, Mr. Giuseppe. Good afternoon. Welcome to Giuseppe's Grooming Salon. What can I do for you today, sir? A shave? A light pomade? Or is it just a brush? <gasps> Quick trim, barber. Oh, I'm not the barber. I just tidy up. Yeah, well, that's all I want. Tidy up the back and size, nothing off the top. Yes, but... No, but come on, man. Chop, chop. If you say so, sir. Mm. Hmm. I may be about to shave a customer. Oh, thank goodness. Just putting you on hold! But I don't want to. It's only a haircut, Nelson. There's nothing to be afraid of. Come in. Take a seat. We'll go somewhere else. Some product, sir. Ah, very good. Very on. All done. I must say it's turned out a lot better than I expected. Uh -huh. oh. What the devil's that? It's uh, marmalade. Marmalade. Hairy marmalade. Well, get it off. Yes, sir. Right away, sir. Oh, yuck! What is the matter with you? Paddington! Mr. Giuseppe, I can explain. It's really not as bad as it looks. Ah. 
Afternoon, chaps. If you ask me, the the pink really brightens the place up a bit. If you ask me, you should pipe down and enjoy your dinner, because it might be your last. Okay. Worry. I used to be a restaurant critic. It's not as bad as it looks. Oh. <gasps> it's worse. <sighs> what is this? Nobody knows. But we've been eating it three times a day for the past ten years. Why doesn't someone have a word with the chef? <laughs> with mackles? Do things to remember if you want to survive in here. Keep your head down and never talk to Knuckles. Thank you. Well, I think it's a great idea. Tell you what, son. You get Knuckles to change the menu, and we might forget about you making us look like a bunch of pink flamingos. All right, then. I will. Oh, you don't want to do that. Aunt Lucy said, if you look for the good in people, you'll find it. She obviously never met Knuckles. Um, excuse me. Mr. Knuckles? Yes? I just wondered if I could have a quick word about the food. Send a medic to the canteen. You want to... complain? Oh, no, I, I wouldn't say complain. Oh, that's a shame, because I just love it when people complain. Really? Oh, yeah. Oh. Well, in that case, it's very gritty. Oh. And lumpy. And as for the bread... Need I say more? I think we need to completely overhaul the menu. Now, I know we're working to a tight budget, but we could at least add some sauce. Oh, sorry about that. I'll just, uh... Hmm. No, that's just rubbing it in. Don't worry. I know what gets ketchup stains out. Hang on. Was it mustard? Mm, no. That's just made it worse. Does anyone know what works on ketchup? Chaps? <gasps> Forget the medic. Better send a priest. You listen to me, you little maggot. Listening? Nobody criticizes my food. Right. Nobody squirts condiments on my apron. Got it. And nobody bonks me on the head with a baguette. No bonking. I'll overhaul the menu, all right. Really? Dish of the day? Yes. Bear pie. Oh, I don't like it! What is this? It's a marmalade sandwich. Marmalade? My Aunt Lucy taught me to make them. You mean... You can make this? Well, yes. Stand aside. 
Get up off the floor, you bunch of yellow bellies. Listen to me. This bear is now under my protection. Oh. Anyone who touches a hair on his back will answer to Knuckles McGinty. That's Knuckles with a capital N. Thank you, Mr. McGinty. Don't thank me yet. I don't do nothing for no one for nothing. Beg your pardon? You get my protection so long as you make that marmalade. Deal? Deal. Designed by Sir Christopher Wren, St. Paul's Cathedral is one of London's most famous landmarks. Sadly, the Great Dome is closed to visitors today, as one of its statues was destroyed in a bizarre accident last night. But if you follow me this Excuse way... Excuse me. I can leave what happened here? A nun went berserk. Really? It happens. The police have rounded them all up for questioning. Hold it there, sister. You're going nowhere till the detective says so. Spin it around. Mind you, if you ask me, the real culprit slipped the net. What makes you say that? Because I saw her. That's what. I was on patrol in the upper dome watching the nuns parade far below when something caught my eye. One of them broke free from the herd and made her way to the whispering gallery. Only the good Lord knows what she was doing up there. See. But she was never going to get away with it. Not while I'm Vice Deputy Head of Security. Oi! Attention all units, an unusually attractive nun is causing mayhem in the Cathedral Dome. Activate emergency protocol. Stop that stunning sister! I set off at lightning speed. But by the time we'd locked the place down, she'd vanished into the night. Good evening, my son. Oh, uh, good evening, Your Grace. Good evening. <sighs> Most beautiful woman I've seen in a long time. <sighs> Do you think you might be able to describe her? It would be my pleasure. <laughs> Hello. Where all your dreams come true. Hello, darling. Have you gone insane? No, it's Phoenix. I'm going to prove it. This is breaking and entering. We haven't broken anything. Why would Phoenix want to steal a pop-up book? He's a millionaire! That's why you're wrong. He owes money all over town, look. So he's got a few bills. I mean, everyone... Good grief, the man spends a lot on face cream. He hasn't put a penny to his name. Now, come on, let's find that book and get out of here. <sighs> Cravat. Well? Nothing. We must be missing something. Unless there's nothing to find. Now, can we please go? Oh, look, Henry. What? The carpet. Yes, it's lovely. I'll order a swatch. Give me a leg up. Oh, quick, 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 quick. quick. Attic. Every house in the street has one. I mean, look, it's just a perfectly normal... Oh, my God, he's a weirdo. Look, Henry, the nun, the thief, the king. We were right. Sorry, we? Well, well, I mean, I, I never... <gasps> Quick, get down, get down. Quite frankly, rubbish. Hello? Who goes there? 
Reveal yourself. Henry. Hello, Phoenix. What on earth are you doing here? I might ask you the same thing. Well, I live here. It's my house. And I? Insure it. And for our Platinum Club members, we perform an annual free home inspection to verify your security arrangements. In your pajamas? Mm-hmm. With your wife? Well, that all seems pretty secure. Oh, hello, Phoenix. Mary. <laughs> Didn't hear you come in. <laughs> she helps out when we're busy. Oh, but well, that sounds entirely plausible. Does it? Great. Well, I'm delighted to say that everything seems tickety-boo. Wonderful. <laughs> so, I'll knit back to the office and get the boys to type that up ASAP. <laughs> and we'll hope to see you soon. Indeed. Perhaps next time, not in your pyjamas. <laughs> <laughs> He's such a silly one. Ciao now. <laughs> <laughs>